fans and welcome to another episode of Silver Screams Reacts. Tonight we have a movie that's, what, a decade in the making? Something along those lines? We have the trailer, you know, for all of that entails. We have the trailer for Rings, which is the third American Ringu movie. Oh which, okay, we, we've stayed away from the trailer until this moment, which has been very difficult because YouTube just keeps wanting to shove it in my face. So I've seen the first five seconds and nothing more. I haven't seen any of it. Good. Uh, but yeah, so it's been coming up on like every single time I'm like, I want to listen to this song on YouTube. Let me show you a trailer for Rings. And I'm like, not yet. YouTube, See, not yet. I have a temporary YouTube Red subscription, so I'm like, an idiot. Good for you. <laughs> you don't get spoiled for trailers that you want to react to. Then. It's free for the first month. And then it's $10 a month. So I'll be canceling in a month. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So um, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, God, I feel me. just prediction. The only place it can go is the internet. We've been talking about this for years. The, the tape going online, it's the only logical conclusion. Honey, your face does not look okay. You're not real! Except she is. Hi, Samara. Ooh, look at that flat screen. Way to bring it into the 21st century. <laughs> At a girl. She's back! Come on, we gotta get up. <laughs> I keep That's already a good story. The bed and breakfast. There's this video. Julia's is a killer. Kills you seven days after you watch it. Yeah. It's a chain email. The second it's over, the phone rings. And this boy says. Oh. That's when she's coming for me. You want to know about the girl? Is that Vincent Caprio? What does she want from me? This mark on your hand. It yeah. says rebirth. That is totally him. Wow. You know, Brian Cox was Ew. the first one. <laughs> Super gross. So you know the green the drain. The ring and the grudge are not the same thing. Mom? She's here. You've opened up a door. And now no one is safe. <laughs> Mara's on an airplane. <laughs> I didn't know she could fly. I'm gonna be real upset if that's like the climax of the movie. On an airplane. Cause I Showing your hand, it's way too early. Or if that turns out to be a stupid dream. Uh, there's a man on the wing. There's a there's a little girl on the wing. <laughs> now, okay. Let's talk about this a little bit because it looks the original American remake of The Grudge was very much about kind of solving this mystery about what happened the to Samara. Yeah. You said the grudge. No, so <laughs> I was freaking looking at the grudge just now, um, but the very the um, first American remake of The Ring was very much about solving the mystery of where this tape came from, who the little girl in the tape was, trying to save her if she was a tortured spirit. I feel like you got six vaguely unmolested days, and then the seventh day she came out and killed you. The you it basically it was. It wasn't as bad as Drag Me to Hell, because Drag Me to Hell, you got, like, tormented for the three days uh, before getting dragged to hell. Uh, the ring, it was more like just weird things would happen around you. Um, 
But looking at this one, um, after you solve that mystery, you know, after you get to the bottom of it, there's only, you have to do something different. And to the ring's two credit, like, it's not a good movie, but to its credit, it tried to give Samara new motivation in terms of wanting to become this living person. Um, and I feel like that's kind of more of what we're getting here. It's, when I say the grudge, it looks like a lot of imagery from the original grudge with like a hand coming out of the, you know, hair. And I think the hair, hair was in the first ring. It's been a while since I've seen it. But like seeing somebody else's skin underneath your own and things like that. It feels more like the grudge rather than that murder mystery sort of deal. Yeah. Well, this is popular. Let's just do that. I mean, well, it's that J-horror sort of stuff. It's like, this isn't an... And granted, I haven't seen a ton of the original Ringu movies, because there's a, there's a set of them. Um, but, like... And so maybe they're pulling from more of that stuff, uh, because those are tropes for, for movies from Japan. But, like, when I see this stuff, I'm like, it feels more like The Grudge than it does The Ring, at least in terms of the movies that I've seen. Um... I love the idea of it going online, of course. I'm disappointed that it's not social media. That it was an yeah. email from Unknown. Which, originally, I thought it was something from somebody named Julia, not the main character. Yeah. And I'm like, Julia's a jerk for forwarding that. <laughs> like, Julia should not have clicked play. You should just get something that says, watch this. I'm like, no, remember in the early 2000s when screamers were big? Where you'd watch a video and it would be really ah! chill and then at the end something would jump out at you and it's just, and everyone was sending them around and saying, oh, this is a really nice video or oh, this is a car commercial where you can actually see a ghost or oh, there's this and screamers, guys. Like, I feel like we should all have learned from screamers. But the, um, and yeah, that's the other thing too, is like getting an unknown email. I feel like either spam would have already automatically flagged that. Or, like, she'd see that and be like, forget that, delete. <laughs> it's like, shortest movie ever. Samara sends emails and they all get caught in people's spam filters. Aww. She just sitting, I just see her sitting at her computer going, um. I'll send it, oh. It's like me searching for a job. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Too real. But, um, Freddie and Jason both said they liked it, but they're already dead, so it doesn't count. They just made fun of me. <laughs> the, um... They said it was a boys club. Ugh, stupid boys. Um, <laughs> I will... S so I'm disappointed that it's not... And granted, maybe making it more social media oriented would be too dating it, but by taking it online, you're already dating it. The yeah. original's already dated. Um, this is a VHS. But in the original, you could rid yourself of the curse by passing it on to somebody else by, you know, making a copy of the tape and then having somebody else watch it or showing it to someone else. So I feel like doing that online is super easy. You just upload it to something somewhere and someone else is bound to watch it within that I time mean, frame. I mean, Facebook has autoplay. Exactly. And that's why I'm disappointed it's not a social media thing because so many social media sites just have that autoplay feature where you're just scrolling through. You're not even looking for it. You don't even choose, like, oh, I got an unknown DM. Like, no, it's just something that automatically plays as you're just going through the motions. And you know someone would take, like, the first three seconds of it and then make it a Rickroll? <laughs> Never gonna give you a... Like, that would have been so funny. People would remix super, it. People would, like, it, super once this hit social media, people would just screw with it incessantly. But, but the other thing is that I always joked that if it did go online, Samara would be overwhelmed and she would quit murdering people because she'd just, she'd get tired eventually. Um, but I, so as a result, I kind of, even though I think it's giving away too much too soon, I really liked seeing her take out a group of people in a plane. Oh like that's, and grant, assuming that's not a bullshit dream sequence or anything like that, because that's more than we've ever seen Samara do. It's always just like a one or two person affair. And so seeing her like take new heights is kind of cool. And even though a lot of the, the imagery was very grudge oriented, the stuff of her coming out of the TV was cool. Um, the person, you know, Julia 
freaking out and unplugging the television and screaming you're not real, that was really cool and really engaging. So long story short, some of the stuff looks like a great continuation. But it doesn't look like a ring movie in some ways. Yeah, and the other thing is that, yeah, it looks like a great continuation, but in other ways it looks like it's phoning it in slightly. Yeah, and I hope I I'm wrong. Phoning it in. I hope I'm wrong. And I um, have to close out of that thumbnail because that is fucking with my gag reflex. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> fierce. It's super gross. I don't have a uh, great gag reflex, so watching stuff like that is like, it is, it is pretty disgusting. Um, anyway. And that's on a billboard off of Barham. Ew. Yeah. Gross. It's not that sick. specific thing, but, it, oh wait, no, that's American Horror Story. It's someone with their head in the tub and the hair is just kind of going all over the place. I think it's actually American Horror Story. Completely different. Completely but I got different. it mixed up because of that bit. Like, it's the same. No, yeah. very different. Again, doesn't feel like rain. Again, long story short, it looks like it could... It looks like it's definitely got some... I feel like by the time we get around to reviewing this movie, and when I say we, I mean we. <laughs> you. Um, you and the mouse When the I pocket. get around to reviewing this movie... <laughs> I don't have any pockets. You um, never heard I, me say that? Yes, I know, but I don't have any pockets at the moment. But when I finally get around to reviewing this movie or talking about this movie, I feel like I'm going to say there was some good stuff, and then there was some not good stuff. And I feel like this trailer kind of conveyed that. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Nope. <laughs> Not your speed? Nope. Uh, anyway, uh, a product of the time, and we shall see if this is an accurate reflection of our time. Indeed, we shall. Anyway, Katie, where can people go if they want to find you? On Twitter and YouTube at Kiaxe, that is K-I-A-X-E-T. If you like these reaction videos, reaction videos to other not horror stuff live on my YouTube. Just emotional stuff. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TheManglin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. Be sure to follow Silver Screams at Silver underscore Screams on Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe. Thumbs up. All that stuff. I want to know, what is your favorite J-pop horror movie? I'm going to say J-pop. What is your J favorite J-horror horror movie? Is and it? I want to know what your favorite J-pop group is. Because hey. I guess we're doing this. Okay, yeah, so we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this, I guess. Um, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.